and it's a shot from PSV and it's gone in. Aya Tarrant with a great strike. How far out was that? Welcome back to Curve FM and the first episode of the Amsterdam Wonder Kids on Football Manager 2020 and today is the first video on this channel in about two years. I think the last one that we did was on FM 18 and you know the new game's out, the new beta at least and I think it's time to bring the channel back and hopefully finish a series. So we're taking over Ajax in this save, obviously. And the main reason is because of the youth team. And I really want to try and bring some people through and push for that Champions League win that we've been so close to in recent years. Last year, of course, we made the semi-finals and got beaten by Tottenham. I just, it was a close game. And yeah, today it's time to redeem ourselves and push for that European victory. And for our first game that we're going to get straight into after we've run down the tactics is against PSV at home in the Johan Cruyff Shield or Schaal in Dutch. And yeah, it's going to be the winners of the league, Ajax, taking on second place in the league. It would normally be against the winners of the cup, but we so happened last year that we won the cup as well. So... Um, yeah, pretty successful season last year domestically. Uh, after a bit of a drought in the league, we finally won it. Um, we haven't won it since 2013-14 season, where there was a four-year span where Ajax came second behind PSV three times and Feyenoord once. And last year, in the 2018-19 season, Ajax picked up the domestic trophy. And I think they got the domestic double which they did they got the cup and the Eredivisie there I was thinking they might have got the treble as well winning the cup, winning the shield but they didn't and now it's our time to win the shield as well we haven't won, won that since 2013 so time's time let's get our first trophy in this first episode and hopefully start off the momentum going forward into what is another successful season and in terms of the youth teams, we've got some really good players down here that we can start to bring through, especially in the under 19s. I mean, look at these stars. Wrench here. He's going up all over the place, all his stats. Um, he's only 16 at the minute, so we're not, he's not going to get first team football, but that's someone to certainly keep an eye out on. And all of these players down here will hopefully eventually all be in the first team. That is the goal. Um, we're going to try and not sell any of our youth players. Um, in terms of like responsibilities, staff responsibilities, I've got my staff to do basically everything apart from player contracts and signings. So everything else can just be forgotten about for me. Staff, everything like that, press conferences. I'm just going to focus on these youth teams and the first team. Uh, so I make any youth signings. I renew all the contracts. So yeah, that should be fun. Um, trying to bring through some youngsters. A couple of people that I've called up to the first team for pre-season were Nicholas Kuhn or Nicholas Khan. Uh, I think it's Kuhn. And yeah, he's really good. He's only 19, but he's ideal for what we need. Cutting inside from that right flank, using his left foot and hopefully scoring some goals. Um, but that'll make more... That'll make more sense once you saw the tactic that we're going to use. Another person that I called up was Brian Brobley. Or Brobby? Broby. And yeah, really good striker. Only 17. Bags of potential. And yeah, he's going to be good against... And he's going to be getting some games this year as well. He's never played for the first team, it seems. And I don't think Kuhn has either. So yeah, this should be their breakout season. And I'm looking forward to seeing how well they do. One thing to note is I've turned off the first transfer window, so we won't be making any signings until January, and we won't be able to sell anyone until then either. Just to keep it a bit more realistic, so the teams that we're going up against are as they are in real life right now, and then, yeah, the signings will start to happen in January. And, yeah, so this is the squad that we have to work with until then. So this is the tactic that I've been going with in pre-season. We've got a sweeper-keeper, 
two centre backs on ball playing defence. So we really we're really building from the back using this tactic. Uh, sat just in front of the two defenders is Daly Blinn pulling the strings. And then we've got Tagliafico and Dest on the wing back rolls running forward and pushing the opposition team into their own half and really trying to overload them around the box. Uh, we've got Van der Beek. He goes on the box to box midfield roll, running up and down as needed. Uh, then we've got Marin sitting in, controlling the play from an advanced playmaker role. Then we've got Quincy Promes and Zayek, who we're going to change quickly to an inside forward. Um, they're going to run in behind to the Tadic, who's going to sit a little bit deeper on a deep line forward role, pulling the strings up top. Um, the idea of the, the tactic is to get as many people forward as we can without risking leaving ourselves open at the back, which is why we've got this little triangle here. Uh, but everyone else should be fairly attacking. Um, we should have three people in the box at times with Dest and Tagliafico just on the edges, put, putting in crosses and adding width to the attacking movement. If this fails, I bring on Huntelaar, who is really good overall. Um, physically, you know, he's dropping. He is 35, but for at least one season, he's going to be amazing with the finishing of 18. So if we need a goal late on, Class Ian Huntelaar is that man. Um, as he fades out of the team, Broby will be dropping in to replace him. As time goes on, um, I'm sure Huntelaar is not going to be very good for long. So yeah, that's a natural transition there. Uh, Kuhn will be coming off the bench for Zayek every now and then. Um, Zayek hasn't actually played in the preseason because he's been away with Morocco. And neither has Tagliafico. And I think that's it from the starting line. There's a few other people that haven't been around as well. Uh, Anan is still away, so we're going to have to play our backup keeper in Varela. Still good, though. Good player. Um, but Anana, of course, is better. And then we've got Alvarez, who's been away as well. One of our best centre-backs. Uh, so we won't be seeing him until the opening day of the season in the league. Um, we've got David Neres away with Brazil. Um, Graven back. He has just got injured. He's got loads of potential, though. I think he's going to be in the team, hopefully, for a long time to come, unless someone snaps him up. Uh, we're going to play out the defence. We're going to work the ball into the box. We're going to push the wing backs forward and overlap. Uh, we're going to be more expressive. In the transition, we're going to counter press. So as soon as we lose the ball, win it back. Um, and we're going to counter when we do so. Pressing intensity is on extremely urgent, just to, as I say, to fit with the counter press that we're going to go with. And we're going to push the defensive line higher. Uh, standard line of engagement. Width we're going to mess with. For now we've got it on standard. And our mentality is on attack. So we're really going to try and box in the opponents into their own half. Win the ball back as fast as possible. And then overload them with players. With lots of people pushing forward. Van Beek, Marin, Tagliafico, Dest. And then these three in the box. Hopefully scoring the goal. So yeah, that's the plan. Hopefully it can work against PSV today. And hopefully we can pick up our first trophy of the series. Let's see how we stack up against... Another massive team in our league. I expect them to come back with a trophy. And I'm going to tell them that. You know, passionate faith. Passionate faith. Passionate faith. And it's gone relatively well. Defence seem up for it. Midfielders seem up for it. To Van Beek, out wide to Dest. Zayek. Van Beek shoots and he tries to get another shot in. But can't quite score. And Veltman brings down his man there. And he's going to be in trouble. Is he going to go off? And it's not. And go for that. Just the yellow card, and now we've got a free kick. Zayak into the box to Promes. Ah, and it's offside. He is just... Just offside. No, Veltman. He's going to have to be careful on that yellow. Marin finds Promes. Out to Zayak. Can we get a cross in? Finds Dest into Van Beek. Ah. Should have passed it into the box there. We're dominating play so far. 58% possession. They've had no shots. We've had five. Uh, our pass percentage is 87%, which is pretty good. Um, now Bergwin. Come on, we need to win this. Get it off them, Van Beek. 
And now Zayek finds Blind. Can we hit them on the counter attack? And no, we can't. But we've still got the ball though, Blind. Van der Beek out wide to Dest. Can he find a ball in? Zayek, Van Beek, and saved. Come on, free kick into Zayek. And we've got it straight back though. Win possession straight away, and Zayek hits the post. And it's a shot from PSV, and it's gone in. No way. Ayataran with a great strike. How far out was that? It's about 30 yards. He's absolutely banged it in with their first shot of the game from a free kick. Typical. Blind. Out wide to Zayek. Can we hit them straight back and equalise? Can he find the ball in? Promise. And it's saved by the keeper. Look at this. 10 shots. Only two on target. That is poor. And Malin's through. It's a good save. And we've won it straight back from the goal kick once again. They keep giving it to the defenders here. Now Marin out wide to Zayek. Can he find the ball in? Come on, surely we can get a goal here. Just nothing on target. Uh, Promes, Zayek and Tadic not doing much up front. Uh, we're just going to have to... I don't know what we're going to say here. Uh, it's time to dig in and give everything. <laughs> They're not bothered. Could we make a sub here? Might bring on the youngster. See how we can get on. Maybe even Hunter La. Uh, Hunter La is not very much fit though. Um, Kuhn is. So I think we're going to bring him on. He's been playing throughout pre-season. He's done really well. Uh, if we look at his average rating, it's 7.9. He's scored three, assisted two. So hopefully he can step up now in a competitive game. It's his first appearance for Ajax can it be a memorable one and the players looking a bit nervous apprehensive it's going to encourage them let's see how that goes now Zoet and Martinez wins it but he's passed it out to Dumfries lost the ball and they find a the ball through no they're just passing sideways <laughs> can we win it here come on press them and we have won it back now Kuhn Oh, I nearly got a ball through there. And Kuhn again. What can he do here? Passes it back to Blind. Van der Beek. Tagliafico looking for the cross and Tadic. It's gone wide. Can he find a ball through? Ball over to Kuhn. Kuhn shoots and it's gone wide. We're going to bring on Huntelaar here. I might take him off for Promes instead. Actually, no, I want Promes' pace for the counter attack. Um. Yeah, so yeah, we're going to stick Huntelaar up front as a poacher. Can he grab us a goal? We just need to equalise. So we need one goal. 16 shots. Dominating them in the stats, but it's the goals that matter. And they've had that great free kick. I was going to say fluky, but it wouldn't be fair on the lad. Come on, please, man. Let's get off to a good start. Martinez wins it. Now Tagliafico. Promes to Tagliafico again. Blind. Marin shoots and what a goal from Marin. Come on. That's the equaliser we needed. Raz Van Marin. With a great goal. Tagliafico. I think it was about the same distance as the free kick. So what a strike that is. Look at that. Straight past the keeper. He had no chance. And it's one all. Come on. Now Ajax are looking to break again with Promes. Out to Kuhn. Puts it into Huntelaar. Come on. Marin again. How has he missed that? He's hit over the bar. All he had to do was keep it down. The keeper wouldn't have got it. And Tagliafico out on the left-hand side. Back into Marin, the goal scorer. Tagliafico again to Marin. Is he going to shoot again? And he has. Come on. What a player. Raz Van Marin making a name for himself today. After signing for standard Liège and he's scored the goal. I've just accidentally skipped the replay just to see where he was from. But what a goal that was. And we might have to switch to our defensive tactic, which I haven't actually gone over yet, but we'll do that in a minute. Uh, Huntelaar now. Can he find someone? Finds Dest on the right-hand side. There's loads of people in the box. Surely there's going to be a goal here. And Blind, why would they find Blind in that situation? So as you can see here, uh, this is our tactic now. And when I click to the defensive one, one of, one of these centre midfielders drops into defensive mid. And... Uh, the defensive mid drops into the centre-back. So we've got a line of three at the back now. I might also drop these back. 
But for now, I'm just going to leave them forward. Um, who else we got? We got Shurs. He's done well, actually. So I might bring him on for Band of, Van der Beek um, and then tr switch it up like that, put Marin into the midfield, uh, Blind back where he was and Shurs into that centre-back role. Um, I think that's it then. I'm just going to give him a team talk. Uh, just tell him I've got faith in you. <laughs> no reaction. <laughs> team team talks are going well. No, they're pumping it forward. They're going to try and push through our defence now. Have we got enough people back to stop it? And it's gone wide. Poor cross there. And I'm getting nervous every time we, there's a highlight. Can we just sim through to the end without any highlights? Thomas shoots and he hits the bar. Oh no, come on. Coon on the counter. Got Marin and that's what that'll do. Come on, just stay off the highlight, please. I don't even know what to say here. I'm really nervous and it's only the shield. <laughs> that's a great uh, effort there. I think that was a Mitroglu or whatever his name is. Uh, I don't know what to say. Just keep it out of the box, please. The Taze, he's going to look for the cross and it's gone wide. Was that a far defender? It wasn't, it's a goal kick. And they're pushing again. Now Kuntala loses it, but then Kuhn wins it back. Now Marin, Blind, come on, just keep the ball. Keep the ball. Tagliafico. Uh, why have you done that? Why have you done that? Why have you done that? Promes wins it back. Well, he didn't win it back. He's the one that, <laughs> you know what I mean. Come on, Veltman. Blind out wide to Tagliafico. You just keep the ball. We've only got 45 seconds remaining. And it's surely over now after that wasted chance of PSV. They outnumbered the defenders there. Uh, speaking of outnumbering, I'm just going to quickly drop these back. I just feel a bit safer like that. I don't know if it's going to go through on time though. We're just wasting a bit of time here with Varela taking his time to go with the goal kick up to Kuhn. Can he hold the ball up? And it's over. Come on. What a comeback. Look at that, though. Dominating the shots. Um, our possession dropped towards the end there, maybe because we went on defensive, but throughout that first period, or at least the uh, first three quarters of the game, we've dominated them. Uh, we couldn't find the shots on target. I think that's the main issue. Um, but yeah, Marin could, and he's absolutely banged two great goals in with an 8.9. And we've won our first trophy in the first episode. Let's go. Passionately, I'm pleased. Well done. Extremely delighted across the board. <laughs> and I'll take it. We've won our first trophy in the first episode. And what a way to start. And hopefully that's going to be the first of many this season. And for some reason, my developmental centre is broken at the minute. Can someone help me here? You're in control of one or more areas of the B team, right? Well, where's my team? Uh, so yeah, this, this, now we're at the end of the match. I uh, may as well have a look at some more of these players. So we've got Deferio Misignan. <laughs> it's his first season for the team. Uh, he's only 15. Again, great potential. Uh, one of the, the best things about Ajax that I like is the B team play in the league below. So like the championship of Holland. In terms of the first team, though, even the potential here is absolutely phenomenal. And it's going to be tough, though, to keep the big boys from poaching our players. Uh, hopefully we can try and avoid that as much as possible. And hopefully we get to the stage where we're the best team in the world. So our players aren't persuaded by the likes of Barcelona or Real Madrid or Juventus and teams like that. So, yeah, in the next episode, I think we're going to do... The VV Venlo match and the either Tel Aviv or Ludacrets match, depending on who wins that game. And that'll be our first Champions League game of the season. Hopefully, we can win that. If we can beat PSV, we can beat them, surely. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to do VV Venlo and the Champions League first leg. Then, after that, we'll probably do the Champions League and PSV. But, yeah, hopefully, you're excited for this anyway. So, and if you want to see more, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for more. Amsterdam Wonder Kids on Football Manager 2020. Until next time, peace.